we started, we were pretty much told, keep the camera at eye level, and you can't cut in VR. You can't cut in 360, it's disorienting, it'll take people out of the story. And as I mentioned, it was, that was a non-starter for us, and especially for Doug. We started thinking about the area of focus and directing and cutting in the same way, I guess, of, of of widescreen or cinemascope, where you know you try and cut and you try and create the story in long areas of focus of your space, so that if actors are moving or you want to watch the watch the scene, you want to be cognizant of, of of keeping if you're following the focus here and most people are following here, you don't want the major action to happen over here, because then they'll miss it. And it's less about missing it as the, that minute or that split second that you go, wait, where am I supposed to be looking? You're being taken out of the story, and that's the emotional break that everybody in this room, I'm sure, is aware of, because it happens in no matter what you're cutting. Julia? You have to trust me. It'll be a good day. We used the 360 space sparingly and for emotional impact. So that alley shot, that's a full 180 pan of the head. And even just, even just doing this opens up your body and your attention and make, gives you that immersive feeling that plunges you into the story. We created a 360 sound mix so that if someone was running from behind you, the sound comes from behind you, if they're running past. And, and, it, and the mix changes also depending on where you look. We shot the fight with seven camera arrays. We were shooting with two jaunt cameras and then several GoPro rigs as well. All of those had to be painted out when we were cutting, but we only had money for two takes for that fight. I think our biggest fear, though, is if you lose people and they miss things, they're, you're not going back to try and make sure you miss the good stuff because what you saw you didn't get. So I think you want to like it enough the first time through in order not to take the glasses off. You know, it's a medium. Every other medium is multi... You can multitask. We're all used to multitasking. It's a huge... It's a huge pressure on the story to strap something onto your eyeballs and not be able to look at your messages or look at the person next to you. Or, like, it's really actually terrifying when you're trying to tell a story. <laughs>